and we're back for another episode. In this episode, we're going to be carrying on the story for Shadowbringers. And as always, hello from Mifri. So I did the first dungeon a couple of times. I used the trust system to try it out. I've now um, I'm about a quarter of the way through 72. I picked up a couple of pieces of the dungeon gear as well along the way. Um, so yeah, so the trust system is a good alternative, especially if you don't have people to play with. Anyway, we are here in Lakeland at um, 35-7, right outside of the dungeon, and we need to talk to the Crystal Exarch. So the quest is called Warrior of Darkness. So the Exarch is looking ahead to the immediate future. So now, as for how we proceed from here. So the villagers we evacuated earlier have arrived safely in the Crystarium. They seem to be accepting the situation for the moment. Most folk are far too distracted by the sky to worry about wounds or lost homes. They whisper and wonder if the Warrior of Darkness has come. Tis to be expected. So, Mifri, I must ask a favour of you. Would you be so kind as to conceal your involvement in this endeavour for the time being? Uh, seeing the light received from Lakeland is a momentous occasion, and many will be swept into a maelstrom of excitement and confusion. Should you come forth as a legendary warrior of darkness, I fear that no matter how good your intentions, such an appearance would throw the city into disarray. I find myself in agreement with the Exarch, although my concerns are more focused on Elmore. So it may be best if you maintain a low profile until you see how Valfrey responds to all of this. So, my thanks. Though we cannot freely celebrate your success, pray allow your heart to be buoyed by the joy of our citizens. A joy you surely brought into being. Ah, I must ask the same discretion of you, Captain. Uh, Tis my intention to share with our people the tale of a great warrior who stood in defiance of the Sin Eaters. This unnamed champion defeated the Light Warden, and has since departed for parts unknown, yes? As you wish, my lord, your uh, penance for mystery is nothing new, and I will encourage folk not to question this either. Although I expect to be told the whole story of it one day, um, about all of you. So with that settled, I shall return to the Crystorium and make an address to the people. These explanations and adjustments will consume much of my time, so pray the, take the opportunity to rest and recover from your exploits, and to think. You'll not even need to shut the windows to begin a darkness, sorry, to enjoy dark and um, peaceful night's sleep. Uh, sleep. I must stay behind and coordinate the evacuation of the remaining survivors. And I hesitate to ask after all you've done here today, but could I ask you to pass on a message on your way to the pendants? Uh, please let Braggy know that they're bringing in a number of injured, and that any restoratives in the market need to be reserved for the infirmary. Uh, we should start about making our own way back to the Crystarium. Slowly, mind you. Um, it wouldn't do to arrive too soon after the Exarch. I'm staying behind as well. I uh, There's something I need to check on in Holminster. We already went through the village top to bottom. 
At least say we should take all the chance to rest. You included. Um, I knew one of those eaters, and I can't just... I can't rest, not now. Rip. So, please. I wish to be left alone for now. And that means you as well, Mifri. I shall be... cross if you try to follow me. <laughs> I promise to find you later, when I feel myself again. So she's going to deal with Tesline. Uh, just you and me then, shall we? Okay, so we need to go to the uh, Crystarium. So once we get there, we will continue. Okay, so we made it back to the uh, Crystarium. Uh, we're right next to the Aetherite, and let's talk to Alpha Node. So, well, the Crystarium seems relatively ordered, wouldn't you say? The Exarch's speech must have been reassuring to hear. Um, on the contrary, there is something jubilant in the air. I have a feeling this night won't be as peaceful as our hooded friend predicted. Um, I think I shall take a brief stroll around town before retiring to my chambers. Once you've discharged your duty to Braggy, I suggest you do the same. Sleep well, Mifri. I hope Untroubled Dreams fought to find you and Elise both. Okay. That's fair enough. So we need to speak to uh, Braggy. So once we get to Braggy, we will continue. Alrighty. So here's Braggy. Let's talk to him. So, hi, what can I do for you? Looking to buy a lantern like every other stumbling soul in the city. <laughs> So, I see. Well, Captain Lin can rest assured that any potions I spot coming in will be set aside for the wounded. Hang on a moment. If you're carrying messages for the guard, does that mean that you were there, then? The battle at Holminster? Um, a stalwart lass like you might want to pay a visit to the Wandering Stairs. Make herself known. I'm sure uh, Glynard can introduce you to some interesting opportunities. Okay, so we need to go there. Fair enough. I'm glad to see um, the game is thriving. Like, the game's been out for a few days now. I wasn't in a rush to finish the story or anything. Um, and I can see the reviews have come out as well. So, like, GameSpot gave the expansion 9 out of 10. So, which is good. Anyway, let's talk to him. So, uh, Sila, more beer for uh, table two, and a couple of pints of mead for table three while you're at it. Coming right up. So, sorry, we're rushed off our feet this evening, miss. Can I get you anything? Drinks are on the house. Oh, uh, that braggy has a twisted sense of humor. So, to think he'd send you to me at a time like this. The first real night in near a hundred years has folks all riled up, and then some. Uh, what's more, there was that eater business at Holminster Switch. They say a Light Warden was destroyed without a damn trace, and it was the Warrior of Darkness who did the deed. I don't know nothing. So, I really must apologize for Glynard. Um, he's been almost as rowdy as our customers, and that's no small feat. Um, a lot of our regulars are bounty hunters, you see. They mostly go after eaters, and the rumor of the warrior's appearance was the spark up to their kindling. Um, you know how the weak eaters are drawn to the strong ones, right? I, they swarm like angry bees around 
a queen. You need look no farther than Holminster for proof of that. But attacks on that scale don't happen every day. Uh, praise a blessed shadow. So, no, the more common threats are the strays. No one knows why, but every now and again, Anita will leave the pack to prowl alone. Those are the ones you run into on the road if your luck is foul. They're a danger to everyone, uh, so the settlement council puts bounties on their heads, and our bar here is a convenient place for hunters to gather and share information. It seems a few of them were inspired by the warden slaying even more than most. These are the types who have their sights set on an, the absolute worst types of strays, a class of eaters they've been dubbed the Cardinal Virtues. The Virtues showed up out of nowhere about three summers ago, and when historians heard the descriptions given by survivors, well, apparently they share an appearance with the villains who caused the flood. And if that doesn't send a chill down your spine, they're also reported to be as tough as Light Wardens, not the kind of prey you can take down single-handed. Um, our Virtue Hunters had all but given up, but knowing the Warrior Darkness is out there has lit a fire in their bellies. Just look at them. And that Hume over there with the oversized sword is Grandson. He... Sorry, he's in it for revenge. Wants to recruit a comrade in arms as tenacious as he is. The Meistel lad is uh, Lou Reek. Don't be fooled by those uh, dewy cheeks. He is as hard a hunter as they come. He just lost a partner and seems to be on the lookout for a new one. So that's Sir Egg. Uh, word has it, um, he seeks an expert in Magecraft to help fight the virtue he's after. So last we have uh, Giot, Dwarf and Drunkard both. Uh, wanted to join forces with a healer and only a healer. Something about needing a Mender's Wisdom. <laughs> it's the only smart one in the group. So I've seen my share of competent veterans and you have the look uh, that look about you. Maybe you should introduce yourself to one of our hunters? Who knows? Together you might even collect the bounty on a cardinal virtue. Now there's a grand idea. Imagine the prestige my bar would earn if we uh, boasted the patronage of a successful virtue hunter. You have gained access to the role quests. A separate quest line and story is now available for tank, physical DPS, magical DPS, and healer roles. In order to reach the final stages of Shadowbringer's main scenario, you must complete at least one role quest line. Speak with a virtual hunter at the Wandering Stairs to accept a quest offer. Interesting. Interesting. So. Let me see. Hmm. Okay, so for now, I guess I can't really do anything. Um, maybe, maybe this guy has got it for a tank. I don't know. We'll we'll see. Either way, let's um, carry on this quest line. I'm sure eventually it will say something along the lines of "You must do a roll quest in order to carry on the story." That's something we read in the patch notes before release. Okay, welcome back, miss. Um, I wonder if anyone can sleep with the city in such an uproar, but you'll be retiring to your quarters? Yes. So, very good. In light um, of the present situation, I've had um, illumination prepared for all our rooms. No need to rush to the markets for lanterns or candles. Have a pleasant rest, miss. Awesome.
So it's your lot's turn to be the warriors of darkness, is it? <laughs> it's funny how things work out. I've been watching, have you? Uh, these are my private quarter. I can't be rude. Well, I did warn you. I followed you to Yulmore and then on to Armorang. And I was there when you slew the Light Warden. Those white haired twins who are with you. I remember them from our battle in the source. Are they your friends then? Through thick and thin. Aye. Then I suggest you keep them close. It's when you charge ahead trying to save someone else that you end up losing those you love. And not that you need telling, I'll bet you've lost plenty. But I wonder. What will it cost you this time? I don't remember when it was that I learned regret wasn't worth the bother. You get numb to it all over the years. The lost comrades, the broken promises, the abandoned principles. And just more nagging burdens to ignore. So this is what the light was hiding. She's here. I must go to her. Intruders! Fan out and fight them! Out of my way! Stay your weapon. We are not your enemy. When the alarm sounded, I wondered what we had done to betray our presence. But I see now we are not the only intruders. Sir Estinian, I presume? The Dragoon who plucked the Warrior of Light from the jaws of death? Your armor is most distinct. Much as yours once was. But even without it, I see a former legator still has eyes and ears in unexpected places. Van Bailsa, in the flesh. Though I understand you prefer Shadow Hunter. Hmm. You are in contact with the Scions, I take it. Through no choice of my own, they tracked me down and conscripted me to their cause. I swear the receptionist was trained as a spy. Not that anyone can escape that Baldessian woman once she has caught the scent of Euretha. If they have resorted to using freelancers, I must assume their attempts to wake the afflicted have failed. And what of their champion? Away on another business. Thus, it has fallen to me to root out any trace of the Empire's new weapon. If it is Black Rose you seek, you are too late. My people have already completed your mission here. 
Yet this is but one factory among many. When they caught wind of our efforts, they built additional facilities to ensure production continues unabated. There will be no one left in the lands they conquer. No citizens to conscript. No skills to exploit. Nothing the Empire needs. And they will call it victory. What exactly does this Black Rose do? The gas is described as a poison, but its actual effect is more arcane in nature. It was created to disrupt the ether in living beings, to bring the flow of their life energies to a standstill. Inhaling even the tiniest amount will cause all bodily functions to cease much as a potent venom will stop a man's heart. Released over a city, Black Rose could conceivably kill every inhabitant, and all without damaging a single structure. Search every corner! Rouse the barracks if you have to! I want this facility secured! I have more questions, but now is not the time. Sir Istinian, I have an offer for you, but I will make it only once. Since it would seem we seek the same answers, you are welcome to join us. Huh. From what I hear, you need all the help you can get. In case you don't know, Varys himself confessed that your empire was a creation of the Asians. I am aware of what his radiance said at the parley. Thus, I would return to the capital, that I might behold the truth of this corruption with my own eyes. My path leads to Garlemald. Awesome. Okay, so we got the achievement between two worlds. Okay. So, I wonder if there's any sort of, like, title with that. Let's take a look. Yep. Outlander. So, maybe I'll change it. Let me do it now. So, because it's been a while since I've looked at my uh, titles. Shall I just use this as a flex? Yep. You're watching someone who plays this game a lot. That's why I've got 191 titles. Anyway, so let's do the next quest. The next quest is called An Unwelcome Guest. The manager of suits is wearing a grave expression. Ah, uh, begging your pardons, miss, but you do perchance um, intend to head outside? If so, I would strongly advise you not to stray too far from the Crystirium. Word has it Yulmar has dispatched his military to Lakeland. Uh, given the timing, one can only assume that they do not welcome the return of night. Even now, the Exarch sorry, um, is in the ocular, deliberating a response. Ooh. Okay, so let's go see the Exarch. Once we get there, we will continue. You are coming at a good time. As you may have heard, we have something of a quandary on our hands. Lax and Loft here in Lakeland. Yulmore has sent one of its airships. They have questions for us concerning the death of the Light Warden. Their emissary makes his way here even as we speak. I suppose the sky does rather give the game away. Indeed. It was inevitable they would come knocking. The only question was how soon. My uh. lord, I am come with the Yule Moran emissary. May I show him in? A moment, Captain, if you would.
Everyone, gather round. I do not wish to show our hand prematurely. Forgive me this liberty. Vanish. Cool. So he turned us all into ninjas. I mean, I could have just role changed. Well, well. The commander of the Yulmoran army himself. To what do I owe the honor, General Ramjeet? The Light Warden is dead, Exarch. We owe people responsible. You are clearly in some haste, my lord. But before I uh, address your question, you must allow me one of my own. What is Yulmor's interest in this? His benevolence, Lord Vorthry, is gravely concerned that the actions of an ignorant few may jeopardize relations between man and Sin Eater. Should it transpire that the Crystarium is guilty of abetting the villains responsible for this outrage, my lord has decreed that it suffer the same retribution. I see. Since you have been so candid, I too shall speak my mind. Regardless of who is responsible, the Crystarium rejoices in the Light Warden's death and welcomes the return of the night sky. If Yulmor considers this tantamount to aiding those you term villains, then by all means, carry out your retribution. Know, however, that even should every innocent soul in the Crystarium perish, nothing can stop that which has been set in motion. <sighs> Folly. The death of one or a thousand thousand Sin Eaters changes nothing. The world is dead and writhe as we might, like maggots in its rotting course. It will not be reborn. Only by my master's grace may we live out our days in peace. But I waste my breath. You have made your stance clear. I shall relay your words to Lord Vorthry. In the meantime, you would do well to counsel any here who have done more than merely rejoice in recent events to throw themselves upon Yulmor's mercy promptly. One last matter. We are searching for a young artist and his assistant. Know you of whom I speak? An artist and his assistant? No. I cannot say I do. What a pity. Should they reveal themselves to you, I bid you hand them over at once. My master is most eager to see them again. So he's not convinced at all, basically. <laughs> I 
Am I imagining things, or did he just stare straight at us? I fear he did. The General is not a man to be trifled with. He is a warrior of fearsome repute who has led Yulmor's army since before Valthry's time, when the nation still spearheaded the fight against the Sin Eaters. One does not command the world's mightiest army and for so long without possessing exceptional instincts. If Yulmor chose to send such an individual, we must assume this talk of retribution is more than an idle threat. While we are grateful for your support, my lord, we cannot in good conscience put your people in harm's way. Tis noble of you to say, Master Alphano, but my people have been in harm's way since long before you arrived. Yulmor has ever yearned to rule over what remains of the world. Even should we surrender the Warrior of Darkness to them, they would find some other pretext upon which to invade. The people of the Crystarium know this only too well. Which is why, when the time comes, I am certain they will fight to the last man. If truth be told, I would not have been surprised had Ranjit declared war here and now. He may have reason to delay. According to reports, the Yulmoran forces at Luxon Loft were observed taking a prisoner. A young woman believed to be none other than the Oracle of Light, Minfilia. It may be that General Ranjit wishes to convey her to Yulmor before commencing hostilities. Having mentored generations of Minfilias, it would not surprise me if he had made her capture his chief concern. Uh, wait, is this the Minfilia? I'm sorry, Generations? Ah, of course. How remiss of me. I had intended to speak to you of Minfilia. There is, however, much to say, and precious little time in which to say it. I think it best that you seek out Moren at the Cabinet of Curiosity. He will be able to enlighten you. Alphino, Alize, would you care to accompany your friend? You doubtless have insights of your own to offer on the matter. All right, though I'm still not sure I understand it all myself. In the meantime, I will set about making provisions for war. Nice, 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 nice. Okay, so we have to go to to there basically. So once we get there, we will continue. Okay, here we are. So let's talk to Moren. So yes, if you're after books pertaining to the Warrior Darkness, I'm afraid most are out on loan at present. They're experiencing seeing quite a surge in popularity. Oh, you wish to learn about the Oracle of Light? Then it would be my pleasure to assist. Um, after I have finished some of few outstanding stats, that is, while I attend to them, uh, perhaps you could fetch me the book The Illustrated Tale of the Oracle of Light, it's called. Though it's intended for younger readers, it provides an excellent summary of the subject matter. And the artwork is quite lovely besides. I will not hesitate to recommend it to anyone with an interest in learning about Minfilia. But you must see your, uh, for yourself. The book should be located on the level below. Um, should, I say, for while there is a place for everything here, um, not everything is always in its place, despite my best efforts. In short, if the book is not where it should be, who will almost certainly be somewhere it shouldn't. So, uh, good luck. <laughs> yeah, so if it's not where it's supposed to be, it could be anywhere in this library. Okay, so let's hope. They said the level below. Okay, let's see this. 
You know, slicing along there. The book is not here. I'll leave the sightseeing log for another time. Okay. It's not there, so let's try somewhere else. We go down a bit further. Too easy if it's here. Nope. Okay. Okay, uh, just as your eyes begin to blur, they finally come to rest on a copy of the illustrated tale of the Oracle of Light. Okay, cool. So, third time's a charm. So let's go back upstairs. The soundtrack in this expansion is amazing. Have you found the book? Let's hand it over. It says, intended for younger readers, this tome featuring uh, winsome illustrations tells the beloved tale of the Oracle of Light. Yes, this is the one. I hope it wasn't too difficult to track down. I'm happy to say I've finished all my pressing tasks. If you want to call your friends over, we can begin learning at once. So without further ado then, um, it began a hundred years ago when the flood of light threatened to swallow Novrand. Uh, just um, as all seemed lost, the savior appeared who halted the all-consuming radiance, a maiden with hair of spun gold and eyes of clearest sapphire. Naught was known about her, save that her name was Minfelia. And for delivering the realm, she came to be revered as the Oracle of Light. Um, after stopping the flood, the mysterious maiden vanished without a trace. But 15 years later, her name would unexpectedly reappear in the annals of history. Cute. When Sinny is laid ruin to the kingdom of uh Wolfbert, a young girl was discovered who was immune to the creature's blighted touch uh one with hair spun of gold and eyes of clearest sapphire she was hailed as the oracle reborn and came to likewise be called menphelia enlisting the yulman army this menphelia brought and vanquished countless sinners So, at last, like so many soldiers, she eventually met her end in battle. Yet, with her dying breath, she whispered onto her grieving comrades, Menphilia will return. And true to her word, some years later, another young girl was discovered who possessed the selfsame eyes, that selfsame hair, and those selfsame powers. She too took the name Menphilia. She too fought Sinias as a soldier of Yulmor and she too fell in battle. Many more were to follow in her footsteps, and yet... So the cycle continues to this day. It almost reminds me of the way Sin Eaters possess bodies and stuff, like, can she also do the same thing? So when she's defeated, she just takes over another body. And that concludes the tale. By their valor and sacrifice, these women have saved Novrand on numerous occasions. And were it not for them, we might never have learned of the Light Wardens and their nature. They sound like formidable warriors. Uh, some, perhaps. The truth is rather simple. Though the Oracle is reborn with certain common traits, she does not inherit the memories or knowledge of her previous incarnations. All of the Mephilias thus far were discovered as ordinary girls, unversed in the ways of war and ignorant to the power they harboured. 
While some embraced their fate and devoted themselves to training, others did not. But all were made to face the Sin Eaters and all died to keep their hopes alive. Our hopes alive, sorry. So, what can you tell us of the current Midphelia? She was found by the Ulman army some 10 years ago and taken into their care. Or rather, their custody. She was a prisoner in all but name, for by that time, under Lord Vaffrey's rule, Yulmore had already abandoned resistance in favour of decadence. So Medphelia was uncomfortable, an uncomfortable reminder of the war they no longer wished to fight, a potential threat to the peace, and so they kept her under lock and key. Uh, for a long while we heard nothing more of her. We couldn't even be certain she was alive, save that it was the Yulmorian's best interest for her to remain under their control. But then, three years ago, a gallant soul stole into the city and rescued her from their clutches, just like a hero from the tales. Indeed, well, I believe we now have a good grasp of Minfidia's tale. Thank you for your time, Moran. Uh, might I trouble you for a word, Mifri, outside? Okay, so let's go talk to Master Alphanode. I would just jump down, but... I'll try not to hurt Mifri. <laughs> So, as you will have already surmised, the gallant soul who rescued Mephelia was none other than our very own dear Thancred. Uh, they have since been wandering the land together, never remaining in one place for long, which is why we have not yet had a chance to meet them. We know that Mephelia journeyed here as Hydaelyn's emissary to halt the Flood of Light. Um, it could only be her that the people of the First witnessed a hundred years ago, the original Oracle of Light. But while there's um, plainly some connection between this woman, sorry, the woman we knew and her namesakes, the fact that these girls do not share her memories must surely mean that they are not the same person. Fancred has to understand that. I have no doubt that he understands. The question is how he feels. Regardless, the Fancred we know would not forsake his charge. If she has been captured, we may be certain he will not stand idly by. There you go again, uh, talking in your roundabout way. If you think we should rescue Minfelia, just spit it out. It just so happens I agree with you. It's quite clear that this Minfelia possesses Hydaelyn's blessing. And it wouldn't hurt to have a second such individual on our side, right Mifri? Uh, one's generally been enough, but fine now. No, quite. <laughs> I see you've made your minds up. Exarch, what brings you here? Uh, a report and a proposal. First, the report. Our scouts have confirmed that the Ulmorian forces at Laxon Loft do indeed have Midphelia in their custody. For the present, uh, they are holding her there, but we can be certain that they will move her to Yulmore ere long. Should that happen, we may be forced to give her up as lost. So, if we mean to act, we should do so quickly. Which brings me to my proposal. Um, I ask that you entrust this undertaking to us, the people of the Crystirium. Cool, so let's complete this quest. Awesome. So guys, I think that is a good time to stop. Um, I don't want the episodes going on too long. So 
Anyway guys, if you liked that episode, be sure to give it a thumbs up. You can watch a random video over there, you can watch the latest upload down there, or you can click down here to subscribe. Thank you guys, bye bye.